Okay, today I wanted to show a quick tutorial on how to do um, creases on clothing, uh, like in this picture for uh, uh, Instagram friend, Kristen's, Kristen, Kristen, ZZZZZ. Z, Z, Z. Okay, so, uh, you know, as you know, Copics are made to blend. They're just, these are my very limited collection of Copics because I just don't use them. But um, there's, and there's different ways of doing this, but um, you should always use two colors, one that is darker than the other one, and I'm using crimson and lipstick red. So uh, I'm gonna use crimson as the base, and I'm gonna use the flat tip, because I have a lot of area to cover, so I just wanna really quickly just go over it without, trying, without overlapping it too much, and I've already done a quick sketch of where I need the creases to be. And if you have a better way of blending this, by all means, do so. I just this is just my way, and I there. This is just how I do it. Okay, so based on the picture, the creases are somewhere in here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the brush tip of the darker color, and you're just going to blend in. There, there really isn't a better way to do this, and I, I know that there's. Other people who do it differently, this is just my way. And this will also help you give the, the piece dimension because you can use it to uh, to give it shadow. And the, the, the better you swipe with it, the, the smoother you do the swipe with it, the better it blends. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. And here's more. Of the, of the creases right here. Now here's um, another thing that you could do is use a color like a gray color. Now this is too light but it will show up. This is a C3. Um, I wouldn't be using this one but then again this is just a color I like to use. And just just strike the paper just give it a couple of strokes and let the paint do its thing and, and it will create the creases um, I want to show also on this side what you can do with the cape area with just the brush area with a, with a brush tip I should say and the longer the stroke and, and the more even you are with it the better it is because it'll blend really well and it won't look weird it won't look strokey. This is a mixed media paper, so it's, it's not helping my cause. Just so you guys know. <laughs> and just, uh, brush again. And to, just to give it dimension, and where I, where I stroke it is right here. And here. Back like that. And once again, come back with the gray and do the same thing and as you can see with the gray you just have a gradient uh, wherever you put place the tip that's where it's going to be the darkest so you can actually work that to your advantage and it creates more crease it I don't I personally don't use Copics because of this it's easier for me to use uh, watercolors and do better creases here, here's some of the crease work that I did. You can you can just use the, the flat tip and then in between it you can use the darker color. 